Good morning ladies and gents, Sunday the 19th of February and we're about to do a little bit of walling. So I've got myself set up, um, this is the gable end side of the house which we're extending out by about two metres to the boundary. The boundary being the edge of this coal house, as you can see, so we're coming up to this side of it. So I'm all set up, hello Reg, spot board's full, dog as spectator and uh, I've got some bricks loaded out ready to put a few more courses into this wall which you can see is already at quite a height. One thing I'm doing today is I'm regaining my bond so we were delivered some incorrect bricks as you can see by the back of this one and the back of that one. So they're relatively similar, it all works in the wall anyway, they're slightly darker but we used them, you know, to save them, we'd open the pack and it would have been a ball eight to take them back, we'd got them loaded out. So I've been using them in the wall, the, we're using Carl, um, Forterra Heather bricks and these are Carlton Heather, that's the difference. But there is... Um, a difference in the size of them. So the Carlton bricks are 215 mil bang on and the Heathers are 218. So I've set all my bonding up obviously for 215 mil. And that means that as we're moving down the wall, depending on what bricks I've been using, the perps come out of line, as you can see here and here in particular. So I'm regaining the bond today. It doesn't matter too much on this side because it faces just another wall so it's neighbours in between quite frankly if you look at the original stuff on on our house if you look closely enough on there you'll see that it's absolutely terrible so I'm not too worried at least it matches so I've put some lines up to where I want the perps to be and we've got one here we've got one down there and one down there pretty much every 10 bricks just so I can keep in check as I run down and as soon as I've got these perps in position then We've used up all the Carlton bricks, so as we go up the wall, we will see um, perpendicular joints becoming more and more in line as we go up. On the front, my cameraman's just waiting around the corner here. Hello. Um, I've not done a too bad a job with keeping the perps in line on the front because they were smaller panels, and I did have it in mind that people were going to see this section of brickwork. So, there we are. So I'll hand you over to my glamorous assistant and we'll do some walling. Right, I didn't clean the trowel off properly last night but it shouldn't be too much of a problem. So, Reggie you might want to go darling. Let's get a spread on first. It's getting quite difficult now because I'm getting a bit higher. I think so I've got these three courses on today. We'll be looking at bringing some some trestles around here, I reckon. I don't think we've got enough, Jim. We might have to go and hire some. So these bricks, they don't have a frog in them, they've got holes in the centre and they absolutely gobble gobble mortar try my best to rake it back as well we don't lose a load of mortar down the back and uh, make a mess of the cavity trays. So, just on this section, all the cavity trays have had to be lifted to uh, accommodate for the changing height to next door's um, elevation level change. 
so we're about three feet higher than we are next door. So the uh, cavity tray's here, but there's still a metre of wall behind that. Now, because I'm not a professional bricklayer, I just like to smooth the front of this bed off so I get full bed joints as I'm, as I'm, uh, as I'm laying the brickwork because it takes ages to point otherwise. Right, a bit awkward to start me off in the first brick. We'll have a relatively big turf here to get us back into line. And then if I can have that level gem, we'll get this one spot on. Start as we need to go on down the wall. Getting the face plane right, and then getting the level right. off the boards helps no end. First time I've laid bricks on camera I think isn't it? Um, it must be because I don't think I've filmed you much. I'm just going to check the face planes on these because I feel like I'm leaning forwards a bit. I am. I'm just going to pat them back a touch. I'm going to make sure we get it, everything right. Forwards. So you can see a gap of light between the top of the brick and the bottom of the brick. That's what I'm trying to avoid. It's something I've learnt at my peril as we've progressed with the build. I've got better and better at figuring these things out. Right, so my perp line is there. So what I might just do is just pop a brick in there and at least I know what I'm working to then. We'll put one of the big ones in. So we want to end just there. There we go. So we'll pop this in. forward slightly on the top of the brick. I don't know what's going on with me. But that's what we need to be meeting up with. That fella there. That's where the perps need to be. I need some more bricks down here, gems, today. I'm on it. You'll be on it. So what we're going to do is run this lot across and if I'm uh, too tight we'll squeeze the perps backwards a bit
guaranteeing this is going to work. Might make a bit of a, a bit of a fool out of myself here. Not the first time, would it? Let's have a look. Oh, it's a bit tight. You see it? Just a little bit tight. So if we squeeze these back. That was a big perp. That was a big one. Biggish one. That one's not too bad. Pretty big. And I'll straighten them out in a minute. Let's have a look now. There we go. And that looks good to me. Apples. So we'll check the base plane and the level. Just tilting out on the top again. I've just got a bit of a bad habit. Here's that. But I'm going to check every brick because it uh, means I'm starting right today then. Start right, I tend to carry on doing the right thing. Okay, looking rough. Now I'll just straighten these up to the line because I've moved them. And the touch and grind this end a little bit. We'll do that on the next course. There we go. So that's all the perps in the right place. And then we'll just put a, run another spread out. Basically. Rinse and repeat, isn't it, Gem? Constantly. Well, they rinse, repeat. So look at that. So it's almost a full mix on these two boards. I put two buckets on each board. There's a tiny bit left in mixer, and there is uh, a bucket on the floor behind you. Which will be the whole mix, and I think it'll be gone in the first hour. And normally, when I've had a mix for doing stuff like the block work, I've only managed to do two in a day before I've run out of daylight. Basically. These are some of the bigger bricks. So these want bigger perp joints. The smaller bricks, aren't they? Sorry. So they want slightly bigger perp joints. Bear in mind. So Carlton Carlton, big bed, Carlton Heather wants to be three mil smaller. And then Heather Heather wants to be an eight mil perp rather than a ten. So 
no it doesn't actually, because I've set it up perfectly. For 10 mil joints, so we'll keep that at the same. They just want to be bigger when they're meeting a heaven, uh, Carlton. Get that face plane right. There, you're going to end up with a dollop on your head. You know, to bump this a bit, didn't it? Oh, Rich. Did he just bang his head? He did. Right. Again, let's check these. Let's come forward to touch. Face plane's good on that. It's all looking good. You don't get too close on bubble on level, Jim, because it'll embarrass me. Look at that. Ooh. It's close enough, isn't it? Am I pulling it, it off at all to make it straight? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, and then I need to get onto that. that mix. I just bounced your line. It's alright, I'm not using it. So I'm laying. Now you can see that this board is a bit overloaded, isn't it? Right. <laughs> oh, nearly fell backwards. Yeah, that uh, that board underneath your feet is the one that's moved a little bit. A couple of things I've found. Roll your cement. Helps get it ready for laying. It keeps it nice and uh, supple. And also it slides off your trowel a lot easier onto the wall. Like that. I find it's easier for me to put a spread on moving backwards like that than it is this way when I get to a height because I'm kind of in a funny, awkward elbow situation when we're up here. Right, I'm just going to drag this away from the back so it doesn't fall down on the cavity tray. And I'm going to spread it. See where we've got full beds. And where we've got gaps. This is me wasting time, but if I just close this section off, I can see all the way along where I've got a good bed joint and where I've not. It just makes it easier for me. I think with practice, we wouldn't need to do that. So, where's my next perp? There. So that's where we want to be meeting. I'm just going to stick him in, level him up, and then work towards it just so I get it spot on again. Just tilt him forward slightly on the top there, but that's nice and tight. Too bad that. Mm. Right. Let's work up to it. And have a look what we get. And I think I'm gonna have to tighten my perps up a bit. Bricks to lay 
before I get to it. The moment of truth. About eight mil, I reckon. Let's have a look. That's not bad. So again, this is all about getting my bond back so I can have perpendicular joints continuing up after we lost it due to discovering that not only are these two different types of brick different sizes but the engineering bricks as well on the bottom they were considerably um, smaller so the first course that we laid was around the bricks were around 213 mil and then these headers being 218 meant that when we came up to above the engineering course I had to lose half a brick in the bond which means there's a half brick in there look that's the only half brick anywhere and then that gave me the correct bond for perpendicular joints it's just there Jim. it's hard to see I can see it otherwise we'd have had really really skinny joints on all of the header bricks going up and big whamma mamas on the engineering down at the bottom but it wasn't perfect and a professional bricklayer would have known to check their brick sizes during setting out but me foolishly I made the assumption that all bricks were regularized standardized and they were all the same size you know what I mean oh god I'm really pleased with how straight this wall is you know The bubble on that spirit level is exactly where it should be. Right, we'll call that a wrap. I might come back a bit later on in the day and have a look at what we've done. But so far, from engineering, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, and complete another day in the bag uh, pointed up about four courses on four and a half two mixers and uh, I could have got another one in but what I've done instead is I've been down and cleaned the chicken pen out and we've put some um, insect powder in there because last year they had uh, little red mites whatever they were called but they were Horrible because when we collected the eggs, we got them on our skin. Anyway, that's a different story for another day. So, here you should be able to see we're starting to get the perps. That's not one of the new ones. Here they are, getting the perps in line. This is the first course that went on. If we look here where we've got this step up, we should be able to see perp, 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 all looking really good. And in line, built that corner up a little bit as well just to start to raise us up so I can put the string line up and the same here but I can't go too far with this section because this needs raking back for a lean-to roof as I've done over there and then we need some steels going in here and we're going to be building up to follow that wall and then out and then we'll be replicating that up here so I think we've said there's about 40 something courses to go until I get right up to the apex up there at the top and I've already got this height here is 30 courses so uh, almost halfway there considering I don't have to build this section up just that front bit if you know where I'm coming from and we don't have to go to 40 courses all the way there's just 25 courses up to the wall plate so we are over halfway when it comes to the brickwork up to the wall plate. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm very pleased indeed. Let you have a look down there and uh, see my 10 metre wall. 10 metre, 774 mil. I may as well show you what we've done with the chickens before we go bit of poultry louse powder that's what we've put in there because these little buggers 
gave us itchy mites last year. Itchy arms from their mites. They're looking well anyway. She's healing up a bit because she did peck all the feathers out of her neck like a fool. You can see we've still got the bantams as well. That one and that one. Now these girls are about seven, eight years old, something like that. Six, seven, eight years old. But they're looking well. So, bit of powder on there. We've put plenty of powder all around the edges and on the curtain. So when they come through the curtain, they'll get a bit on their backs. And these curtains are to stop the other hens pestering any that are on, on the nest box laying so they don't um, peck at them or peck their eggs while they're, while they're on the nest. And then let's have a look inside we may as well, haven't we? May as well while we're here. And that is the finished article. There was a girl in there then. We've scared her off. There we go. This flap folds down as well, so you can clean it out completely. We've got some linoleum on the bottom and then some DPC stapled up around the sides. This keeps the base of the pen completely dry. And this is the first time we've cleaned this out properly for well over a year. And all the stuff that we've taken around the front is 90% composted already and doesn't smell. So there we have it. It's a good system. A deep bed manure system or something like that. Anyway, oh, here's the back of the build. That's it for another update. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And uh, I can't tell you when the next video is going to be because I think I mentioned it before. I am actually skiving off work to do this build. So I need to spend every waking minute getting this brickwork and block work up otherwise it's uh, it's gonna stall while I have to go and brew mad hopefully for the summer time which is what I'm anticipating the next thing we need to do here is get these steels in they're arriving on Tuesday so I might give you a little update on Tuesday but we've got pad stones to cast we've got to cast one there we've got to build some there We've got a big one there to go in and I'm going to build the rest of the pad stones out of uh, I thought I brought one around here but it must have been moved it looks like Gemma's moved it ah oh, it's there concrete concrete commons I was going to use engineering bricks but engineering bricks the ones that I've got have holes in them three holes like a normal brick whereas these are solid so I prefer to use them Anyway, we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys. What are you doing? Have you got a boner, Reg? Have you got a boner? Oh, you're a proud boy.